and welcome back to Crits and Bits. Yay! Yay. It's been two whole weeks, but we're all here again this time. And you may notice an extra face down here. We have an extra special friend with us. This is a friend of the podcast, uh, Miranda, <laughs> who is Fantasy Fiber Arts. She makes fabulous yarn and has been our, our friend of the show for the last arc, which has been just fantastic. We've, we've had fun playing with her yarn. I'm so glad that you guys have me on today. I'm happy to be here. Yay, we're glad that you could make it. So the way we usually start is by going around and talking about what we've been working on lately. And since we've got a nice little circle today, I don't know if any of you have it pulled up, but we've got a circle. So I'm going to make us go in a circle. And so we're going to start with DB. Haha. 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 The one person that says they haven't picked up their knitting in a forever. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mood. Um, I'm still working on the never-ending scarf. Uh, I need to weave in ends, but it's slowly but surely, hopefully, gonna end one day. Who knows? You need an end weaving in fairy. <laughs> no, I like weaving in ends. Oh, you are the I want one of those. Fairies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I weave in as I go because if I didn't with this one, I think I would snap. <laughs> yeah, I still have the the two sets of colorwork mitts that are 26 colors a piece that I haven't woven any ends in. So that's, Send to me. I'll weave them in. I will. Do it. That's, that's 104 ends between four bits. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'll watch a movie and do it. Cool. I have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I don't have a problem. I, I just haven't yet because I hadn't gotten that far up the new color. But now that I have, right. it's time to weave things in. But that's all I've been working on. Okay. Uh, Tiana, what have you been working on? A whole lot of uh, catching up after a cruise. So working on uh, my my life and editing and jumping immediately into a gig the day, literally the day after I landed back from Florida, I, I went back to work. So uh, the new... And it is currently sitting very comfortably on top of my dresser, away from the cats. Uh, I'm still working on one of um, one of Greg's hats, and you know, I, I, I don't have I don't have the brain space to really work on it because it requires actual thought because cabling. Yes, cables do require some some more thinking than just like going around in the circle. And speaking of Greg, what you been working on? Well, I am going around in a circle. Damn. <laughs> I, know, right? I am also avoiding working on a hat that has cables in it. <laughs> because right. I can work on it now, but then you would just see the top of my head for the entire time we're talking on it. But yeah, so I'm working on this hat. I think la since the last time we uh, got together, I, I knit um, a cowl Ooh. for the Carolina Fiber Fest. It was the it was the the show cowl for the Carolina Fiber Fest. So cute! It I is like so cute, and I haven't even blocked it yet. So oh it'll, it'll look better once I block it. But it's a bandana style cow, that looks great. like that. I love that. And cow. it is. That. And let me get the uh, details on it. It is the Euphoric Cowl by Handmade by Zan Designs, and uh, it, it was it's, it's all sorts of fun. You you started off like a like a triangle shawl, basically, <laughs> and then you end up. Um, joining in the round and then and then you end up with a bandana style cow so, like so that's been fun so and i went to the carolina fiber fest which was tons of fun nice so uh e what have you been working on i have most of a sock Ooh. nice Look at oh that cool that's i love awesome. it yeah uh the heel gave me some trouble because i was not understanding the pattern, and I still don't think I'm understanding it correctly, but it's From working. It so we're just gonna go with it. As long as it's working. Yep. yep. Can you I, do the same thing a second time? That's the key. I think so. I think yeah, I gained a stitch so. somewhere, so hopefully they're not too odd. You know, it'll too odd. Fine. Like <laughs> it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I all I could keep thinking when I was turning the heel, all I could think about was a classmate I had in college. I was working on my first ever pair of socks and she goes, I would do socks more often, but turning the heel is the devil's work. And I'm just <laughs> like, thanks lady. All right. Yeah. I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> that, that's a great way to get you. That sounds right. <laughs> yeah. And so I've come to discover it's not the 
actual heel turning that's the problem. It's the reattaching it to the rest of the sock. Do I know this person? No, you do not. It was okay. in my museum studies class. Oh, okay. I was about to say, like, who was that? Well, and, and we I don't even remember her name. We've got to get you doing <laughs> the right kind of heel to not have that issue. It was, um, I did a class on the fish lips kiss heel, and it is fantastic. It is not the dumbest. It's a terrific name. <laughs> is it? Yes. I mean, it's worth it just for the name, but it's, it's a great I'll take heel. my sock off. To show you a fish lips kiss heel. Yes. <laughs> I just removed my sock and there's a fish that. lips kiss heel. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And it is exactly what I expected from the name. Yep. Here we are. No. Put my sock back on. <laughs> I have never undressed on a Twitch stream. Before. <laughs> Greg, this well, is. Remember, no free sticks. Scandal. Oh, goodness. Um, Hollow, what have you been working on? Anything? Um, re rearing a child. That's why. <laughs> you know that yeah. is a lot of effort, and I don't. The noblest craft of all. It uh, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I have been working on. I've been working on baby hats still. That is the current. Keep my hands busy thing. Um. So I have, I reach for it to grab them. I have baby hats. Aww. So these are the ones since our last episode. So I've got some some cute little self-striping almost ones. I don't think the yarn is meant to be self-striping, but on a hat this size, it does that. Got a bunch of those. I got one with little blue fluffy scraps and one with fuzzy orangey scraps. That's so cute. A bunch of pink ones. And a pink one with some white because I had leftovers, and uh, a bunch of green ones, and one that has oh. a contrast yarn that I was trying to use up from another. End oh, of the ball. I like that. That's cool. Yes. So I'm using up lots of scrap yarns because I have a lot of yarn, and I maybe just got some more. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. And then I started on another project with some scrappy yarn. This is, um, it doesn't look like a lot right now, but it's going to be a cozy for um, the glass cup that I use for boba. Ooh. <laughs> because nice. it gets really cold to try and carry it in my poor hands. So I'm going to put a cozy on it so it's not quite as chilly. So that's, that's my current not baby hat knitting. And Miranda, what have you been working on? Um, not a ton right now. Um, I have two pair of socks that are still like, I think I have like this much done of one pair. Um, another pair, I just have to like weave in the ends. Um, but going back to that fish lips, heel kiss, fish lips, kiss, heel. That's the only reason I've completed two socks ever <laughs> in my whole life is because of you and that heel. <laughs> Because otherwise, I was, like, not even attempting it. That was yeah. not going to happen. Um, but, no, we just got into crazy, busy, like, baseball season. So my daughter's playing softball. My son's playing baseball. My husband's playing softball. Um, I just took on a part-time job at the Strawberry Patch because um, they're bringing in, like, all the kindergarten classes oh, for wow. field trips Okay. from now through May. And so like my friend called and she was like, I'm desperate. Can you come in like while your kids are in school? And I was like, why not? You know, yeah. just one more thing. Why sure. not? Just, you know, running two businesses. It's no big deal. It's, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. I, I think just, I'm not good at saying no. That, that not, sounds not. really familiar as I look around the whole group of us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can, can I, can I jump in real quick? Uh -huh. My daughter just got home and wanted to say hi. <laughs> so, hi. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh. Yeah. You get here. Oh, blueberry. Yeah. Hi. Blueberry says hi. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Cute. Well, we like to uh, put our guests on the spot a little bit. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but here's the thing is is we've all talked about sort of our knitting origin stories over the course of the show and and how we yeah. each got started knitting 
how did you get started knitting and then how did you get started dyeing? So this is very odd. I don't know if you guys have ever heard. It's kind of like a little tiny niche um, where people make photography props for newborn photographers. So little knitted bonnets and wraps. And it really first started, I used to crochet. Like I learned to crochet when I was five-ish, something like that. Um, Both sides of my family, my grandparents, my grandmothers taught me at different times, probably both frustrated. Um, And so I've crocheted like my entire life. And then I started in the prop business as actually crocheting, like, you know, the little sets that are the little hungry caterpillar and that have the, you know, the big owl eyes and all that, all that great stuff. So about three, I'd say three to four years into that, um, I started when my, when my son was born in 2010. So about three to four years into that, I taught myself to knit, um, YouTube videos, friends, like anybody who would give me any kind of knowledge about knitting. Um, I went into our local yarn store that was in town, Creative Yarns, um, and asked for a lot of help from them. Mm-hmm. And then I taught my mom to knit. And so we kind of transitioned. Both of us were doing photo props. And we transitioned to that. I still am doing photo props, just not a ton because I'm also dying yarn and raising three kids and, you know, it's a little, it's a little hectic. Um, but as far as dying yarn, I really, it was kind of something that I guess I just wanted to like experiment with in 2018, 19, something like that. So I did a couple of schemes for me and for my mom um, never, ever thought to make it a business because I was already doing so many things and I had little kids. So when the pandemic hit, like my mom opened the yarn store in September and then the pandemic hit in March. And so she constantly was like, you have to start dying. You have, you have all this downtime. You have to start dying yarn. And I'm like, I don't want to do it as a business. Like, I don't, that's so stressful to me to have to get it right. Every time the, the type A personality And the perfectionist is, I was like, I have to get it perfect, solid color. Mm -hmm. It always has to be right. And I fought her for like two years, I think, like two years. So I finally caved and she's like, just do some batches that are like small batch, one of a kind, just do like four or five skeins. Don't, don't worry about it. And so I did a few and I never wrote down anything that I did because she was like, we'll just throw them in the shop and, you know, we'll see what happens. And they sold like crazy. So then she kept pushing more and she's like, maybe you write down what you're doing. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I guess I could. Yeah. So I finally got to a point where I'm, you know, I'm keeping really good notes of my dye techniques and my colors and all that mm-hmm. to where I'm able to finally recreate a, a color that we've already sold out of. So oh, it's great. been a long journey, but it's really fun. Yeah. I'm having a really good time. <laughs> so what is your favorite part of the whole dyeing process? Like, is it coming up with the colors? Is it the actual process? I, I think it's like searching for inspiration because my name is Fantasy Fiber Arts. So everything that I dye is based on something fantasy themed or um, I'm, I'm watching through um, Avatar, The Last Airbender right now. Oh. And so, you know, anything that's like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter or and getting to watch new things that I haven't really had time to watch right. before. Um, that's really, really fun. And going through um, even reading some of the books that I'm reading right now, because I like to read high fantasy books um, and kind of get inspiration from that. That's my favorite part. It's really fun. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I mean, the best follow-up question to that is, what are you reading right now? <laughs> um, well, actually, right now I am reading through the Daughter of Winter series oh. um, by Karina Douglas. And it's like, I think there's 10 or 11 books and it's a lot of Celtic history. Um, and it's like, she's the, she's trying to protect the whole world from the this guy who got his power from like the dark God who comes over into our world. And it's, 
it's very high fantasy, but it's really good. It's it's a lot of world building mm -hmm. over like however many books. I think I'm six books in. Oh, wow. So it's been really neat. Okay, now I have to ask, have you been inspired by any of the stuff in that book or any colors yet? Actually, and I, I, I hate that I can't really dye it. There's, they, she wears a pendant and it's amber colored. And so I was thinking I would really love to dye something like that. But then I just dyed one that's Dragonfly and Amber from Outlander. Okay. And yeah. so I'm like, do I want to do that color? Something similar to that over again? So I have a lot of that that's like ends up overlapping. Okay. Um, something I've been thinking about, I read through the Akatar series mm -hmm. at the end of last year. And I thought about doing like a black gray with like pops of purple Ooh. for his eyes. So Ooh. we'll see how that one comes out. <laughs> well, I'm impatient and I will just have to <laughs> wait for those. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see a new one that I just finished today? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay. So these I just finished today. So and pretty. these are, this is a mohair base. So um, I named this one Infinity Stones. I love it. From, from, the, um, from the Avengers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I dyed that one in mohair and in like a sock yarn. This one's still wet. So Ooh. it's all like not paint all, yet but all brand new and stuff mm -hmm. yes <laughs> and it's brand new because it's still wet <laughs> it's like still covered it's with like... all the amniotic fluid and everything <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I didn't think it would go that way and then it went gross i love it <laughs> yeah, that happens <laughs> well let me, let me ask uh, so, so you've been dying for a little while now what has yeah. been your favorite what, what has been your favorite colorway that you've dyed of all, of all of all of your babies? Which is your favorite? That is so easy. <laughs> it's called Green Dragon Inn yes! from Lord of the Rings. And it is a mixture of a green that's like an avocado green. And it's got a teal green. It's got it's like a teal blue in it. And then I took both of those and used them on the yarn, but then actually combined them together too to use on the yarn. It's so pretty. So pretty. It's just... I my favorite might have a couple mini skeins of that upstairs do right you here. yep i bet you do <laughs> mm. i mean yeah. it's, it's almost like you know lord of the rings is a fantastic inspiration for a lot of things mm -hmm. it is it is <laughs> so i mean i've only read the books like four times so yeah. no 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 big deal no big no. deal no so uh, so do people ever come to you asking for uh, sort of like custom, like, you know, dye jobs, like, you know, for custom schemes, like they may be working on a project or they have like a vision for something and they're like, hey, w it'd be cool if I could have a, you know, a scheme that was like, you know, this and this, you know. Sometimes, yeah, actually. Um, so I do, I actually don't have a website right now. Everything that I'm selling is through the yarn stores and I just got a new um, client in Iowa who is the yarn store up there. It's called a tangle of yarn. She also sells my yarns. Um, she doesn't have an online store though. So most of the time, if I get requests, they come through, like I'll, I'll get like my mom calling me and she'll, she'll be like, okay, I've got so-and-so here. And you know, of course all the customers and like, we know each other by name. She's like, I've got, I've got Danny here. And Danny really wants something that has like charcoal and yellow. Can you do that? And I'm like, yeah, of course I can do that. <laughs> And then you have to figure out how to do it. <laughs> exactly. And then I'm like, then I go, you know, in the background and I'm like stressing. I'm like, okay, what shade of yellow am I doing? <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I love stuff like this because it, it gets that designer bit in my brain going. And I'm like, when's the shop open again? I'm going to have to go and see what that dragonfly and amber looks like. Because as soon as you started talking about Celtic things and amber, I'm like, I've been on a a, a a cabling kick and I yes. can see some sort of like Celtic knot work in amber yes. colors. I'm like, yep, I'm going to have to go buy more yarn again. It's fine. <laughs> I, I'm using up scraps on baby hats. It's fine. See, you're getting rid of yarn so you can buy more yarn. Exactly. It makes sense to me. It's the circle of life. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, my partner has books, you know, and she's like, why you gotta buy more yarn? I'm like, well, there's like two tons of books in this house. So. 
happens when you've got both? I've got your man books. I, I was just about to say that. I have the problem of both. Yeah. Well, I mean, not a problem. I've got some. I've got some books. I I do re, I do a lot of audio books, but uh, the yeah. I think the current uh, partner TBR is somewhere in the hundred plus range right now. So, but we're supporting I feel that. authors. We, we like supporting small businesses and and people. We we love supporting yes. authors. I just use it also as a scapegoat for my own ADHD fueled you know temporary <laughs> obsessions. Like look, two tons of books, my new thing. <laughs> yep, it's true. I, yeah, I I have been known to use some of my husband's purchases to justify more yarn. You want to buy a fancy wood pellet grill? Sure, I'm going to go to the yarn store while you do that. <laughs> oh, man. Wood pellet grill. I don't think I have an excuse. You don't need one. You it, really just, don't. Just, just, no. just, just embrace it and love I, it. No, no, no. <laughs> I have already decided that I'm not buying any more yarn this year. But we this have year? To, we, we this still year. haven't hung out and bought yarn together, like <laughs> in town. Like, how about how about Bert, you, you wait until you're so in early. person with your knitting friends, and then you'll buy yarn. Annie, okay, DB won't be buying yarn by herself this year. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> in there her own go. town, if she's somewhere else, like I, souvenir yarn doesn't count. Exactly. I'm souvenir in a different town. Counts. Yeah, a... Ernest, <laughs> I don't need more yarn. We're in a different town. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't need it. I don't need it. We can take a vote. I definitely don't need it. <laughs> I don't need more yarn either. I'm still planning to go to the shop this weekend. It's fine. You know what? Mental health is still health. So if mm. it helps you mentally, You're you deserve it. Things. Yes. No, mm -hmm. yarn, no, yarn this and is using called yarn. enabling. Yarn can't be your therapist, but yarn can be therapeutic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Collecting yarn and using yarn are both two separate and legitimate hobbies. Yes, and I, I have decided I'm not collecting any more yarn for a little bit. I don't even <laughs> see a yarn popping out the drawer behind you. I don't think you have enough yarn. I, actually, the thing is, there is no yarn in here now. I have oh, moved all of it. Oh, well. Then you made more room. There no, was... stop. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> They're in other places in this room now. <laughs> Look, all so... the yarn I own <laughs> is in this bag. Okay, you Maybe know what? Get you more yarn. <laughs> there. Yeah. G jump on Ernest. I have enough. <laughs> all the yarn you guys... I own is in this one <laughs> bag. You right guys here. live close to each other. DB, why don't you and Ernest get together and buy some yarn? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that just means that I'm going to be sending everyone yarn for birthdays and holidays. It's fine. Annie. <laughs> There's some great pride yarns coming out. We can do some of those. Get everyone some rainbow yarns. Yay, rainbow capitalism. <laughs> rainbow capitalism. <laughs> Except I buy from LGBTQ dyers so well then it doesn't even, count yeah it's, <laughs> they're not doing it just for the monies i mean they get the monies it helps it, but. Look, yes <laughs> no, nothing was more soul killing than the raytheon logo <laughs> oh you should see the mercedes one. Oh no no i just raytheon's like a weapons company right like yeah, like, yeah. there's some choices out there there's some choices <laughs> I have a yarn question. Okay. Do you come up with the names first or the colorways first? That's a really good question. Both. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I just want to like put colors together. And then I really have to like go and search and be like, okay, what does this look like? <laughs> because sometimes I'm just, you know, if I'm especially if I'm dying another yarn. And I see like the two colors beside each other or sometimes the three colors beside each other. And I'm like, those would be really pretty in a yarn together. And I dye that yarn. It wasn't necessarily inspired by any, you know, by anything right. else other than it was on the yarn already. Yeah. So then I kind of have to go and come up with a name. I kind of, I guess I kind of did that with werewolf, which is I think probably my most popular one. Um, it's got, 
Do you? Do you? <laughs> I'm making socks out of it right now and I'm oh, loving nice. it. So it's, it's got brown on like the first half of the skein and then gray on the other half. And then there's just like a tiny strip of, you know, sometimes it's creamish, sometimes it's like a little grayish. Um, but I did that one because I was like, I love neutrals and I love to wear neutrals. So I dyed that one and then I just really had to search and I was like, I don't, this isn't really, doesn't feel fantasy. It's kind of just black and white and brown. Like, I don't know what to name this. And so I had to go and like search for, I do a lot of scrolling. (laughs) (laughs) I do a lot of Pinterest scrolling. Like, what is, what does this look like to me? So a little bit of bow. Do you have plans so this past year, you did the Advent Kit with all of the Johnny Depp movies, which was yes. fantastic. I loved knitting Thank that. you. Thank you. Um, and it's still, it's draped over my chair upstairs. I grab that one all the time. Um, <laughs> do you have plans for next year? Or this this year, I guess, this coming year? I have I know I'm going to do one this year, but I don't have a theme picked out yet. Okay. So I'm kind of searching for a theme. I feel like Johnny Depp was a big deal last year. And so I kind of want to do something that's kind of relevant. Right. So I'm taking suggestions. Okay. (laughs) Always. Um, And, you know, it might not even need to be something. Do I? (laughs) Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Okay. Okay. Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal. Pascal. He's very popular right now. Oh, that's so like, very popular. Lorian, your Game of Thrones, The yeah. Last of Us. He is very popular. And you know, I wouldn't mind researching that either. Exactly. That would be a very popular That's a great research. idea. I had to, um, I've never seen so much Johnny Depp when I did the advent calendar, like researching all of his movies, all of his life, like, Mm -hmm. because I put stuff from, you know, his um, Dior ad, I put uh, his, a few things from his trial in there. And so it was like, I've never seen so much Johnny Depp in my whole life, (laughs) which was not a bad thing. I was not mad about it, you know, so I could do some, some Pedro Pascal research. (laughs) Yeah. you, that will that will make me buy it research. <laughs> I will buy the Pedro Pascal Advent calendar. Okay, that's good to know. It's good to know. I might get this you this year. Colorway. <laughs> this is the colorway. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I like it. I'll give you. I'll give you credit on the tag. Okay, just teeny tiny. <laughs> I love it. I'm just double checking on chat. Your mom's there. My mom's there. Ma'am. Hi, Hi Danny's Danny's mom. mom. Hey. We love moms on this show. My mom would probably be on here. She could figure it out. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a spam. Hey. Wow. That's awesome. Don't you feel special <laughs> when we get stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> We've made it. Yeah. <laughs> they harass us now. They want us to buy things. <laughs> buy followers and views. No, no. no. We want to spend our money on yarn. <laughs> yes. yes. That's what we do yes. here. We, we don't have money listeners. for followers and and uh, views. <laughs> so we spend it all on yarn. Yeah. <laughs> we have our oh. priorities straight. Oh, well, do we have any other questions for Miranda? No. Miranda, so what's do you have next? any questions for us? I don't, I don't, so I'm just happy to, I'm just happy to be here. (laughs) We're happy that you were able to join us. This is great. We've had a great time talking about your stuff and and showing it off. I've got some right here that's been, I'm waiting to cast it on. It is uh, the Edward Scissorhands color from the Johnny Depp collection. And I've got it on the, uh, the regular, uh, just a merino nylon fingering base and also on the mohair. And so this is going to be a shawl and I'm, I'm very so excited, excited for that. And it's, uh, I was talking about it earlier. I've got the design, at least the first quarter of it worked out. So stay tuned Exciting. for that. So wait a minute, hold, this, hold, this, hold this back up again, Danny. That, that's the, the same colorway on, same two, different colorway on two different bases. I yes. love, I love how that happens when, you know, yeah. when you dye yarn that the, the same formula can look yes. different because of the right? bases. Yeah. It's pretty... Oh, I'm so excited. 
so excited to play with that. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is probably a good time for us to take our break. We'll go uh, refresh beverages, let animals outside, and get ready for playing our game. But thank you again so much, Miranda, for coming and joining us. Thank, thank you, you for inviting me. Good luck on your game. Thank, thank you. Right. Bye. And we will be back in... Oh, what did I just open? Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no it's fine. We'll be back in just a minute, guys.
Welcome back to episode 20 of Crit Submits. Look at me remembering to say the episode number now. I'm so mm. proud of you. And so there's so many now. While we were on our break, I ran upstairs, and uh, that is the Green Dragon in oh, color. Dragon. Oh, That's I love that. Oh I've my gosh. It, you can't really tell, but I've got it on the sparkle base, so it's mm. sparkly. And I'm super excited. I, I originally was planning to do hand warmers with these but i don't know i might do something else like i feel like they'd be a really nice accent in like a sweater or something mm. but anyway that's or i mean i mean green dragon in that's uh that, that that's for strider shows that make a cowl Ooh. Ooh. just saying many options anyway i wanted to sure. i mean I, I after greg talked about the cowl that he made i went and found the uh the pattern and bought it so you know i'm gonna <laughs> attempt that there aren't enough cowls and cloaks, you know, in like there general really fashion. There really aren't. Like, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I gotta say it. Maybe people will crucify me, but like Markiplier and uh, Jack Sepkai made that new fashion brand called Cloak. Mm -hmm. Yes. They and, didn't make any cloaks, really. Well, they did, but they're like they're poncho like. They're very poncho like, and they're very um, what's it? They are. They they're very generic. Modern? They're very, they're very generic. It's kind of like, oh, look, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, let's just slap, you know, gaming gear, you know, gaming logos on some cloaks. And it's fashion, baby. Like, ugh. It, that, that is ta tangenting. One of the reasons why I love uh, the Game Theory merch, they actually put thought into making it comfortable and, so, and, and fashionable. My problem with all of these places is I cannot order anything from them. Yep. Well, but, you, know you know what you can do is you can knit things because you can hey i might have a uh, pattern for like a elbow length cloak mm. you know just just putting that out there but i did find lucy and yak today and they do have a very affordable romper that but that, that is in our <laughs> size category Ooh, i i do love our size category <laughs> <laughs> But and yeah, it's it's one of the frustrating things about those kind of brands that I'm just like, look at me, I'm a gamer, I'm slim. Like, come on. <laughs> I live off energy drinks. All I do is drink energy drinks. Like, I don't sit around and eat Tatino's pizza rolls like I just did with Tabasco sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so last time... <laughs> last time we actually only had a couple of players and we did something special after our knitting chat and no one knows about it yet but that's okay because we're excited to release it in a couple weeks i think soon It'll i be think a surprise i think in a, like a month because okay. we drop every other week right the podcasts i i'm never sure where we are anymore but soon soon it will be soon and yeah, possibly be sooner for patrons <gasps> Ooh. So, you know, consider becoming a patron of Majestic Goose. As I don't have a link for that, but we'll figure it out and put it in the chat somewhere or in our Discord, which I also don't have a link for yet, but I'll put it in the chat. But before that, does anyone remember what we did? Uh, we found out that the um, beholder, that little man was... Uh, I, and listen, I'm not going to remember his name. Um, little man uh, was um, was working for, was moited by not all of us, but some of us. And um, we went through all of the tunnels trying to figure out 
uh, if that was the only beholder, uh, turns out it was. Um, we met Chad and Brad. That is not the other guy's name, but in my head it is because and, that's what and will be forever. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> Chad and Barry. But officially, there we like, go. Brad. Brad. <laughs> Chad and Brad. Um, the twins. <laughs> But uh, we snuck past them to get to the library. We saved the librarian who was missing, I think, like, four of her fingers. Hey, can, can, can I jump in here? Because Herder actually wrote a song about that. Oh! Uh, <laughs> song, why, song, why, song, song, why song. did I take over? Why did oh, no, no. Herder only wrote a song about the librarian. So, oh, was <laughs> it a love ballad? Oh. Oh. Let, let's hear this. I'm so excited. Here, here, here we go. There was an old lady who stood at the desk. She was missing a finger or two. Enslaved by the beast that we bested before she was free, but with nothing to do. We all looked around and we surveyed the room and discovered a system in place. It washed over me and my eyes became wide and a smile appeared on my face. And you know why? It's because there were books and more 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 books. Oh, books and more books. A shit ton of books. And more books and more books and more books. And there's actually like 30 verses, but they're all like those last two. So I'll just kind of stop there. That's fantastic! Yay! Wonderful. So that 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 was that was all. Her, Herder wanted to share the song. Can, 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 can I can I put a vote in that he gets inspiration for that? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah, I dig it. <clears throat> all right, uh, D DB, please continue. <laughs> uh, we called Shayla to have the the librarian taken away. That sounds kind. Of, yeah, that <laughs> sounded horrible. <laughs> no, me, sounds please. right. Sounds right. We had we called Shayla, you know, to get rid of the problem. Um, before we started loading up all of our different items of holding, um, with books so that we could take them out. Um, I think we threatened Brad and Barry. Um, I'm sorry, Chad and Barry. <laughs> that sounds right. Um, and they decided that they didn't want to fight, which is probably a good idea because uh, we would have murdered them like we did people before. There may yeah. still be other people in the tunnels. We haven't seen them. Um, but I think we're leaving now. We're going to go back upstairs. Yes, you actually had made it back to town. Yeah and uh, went to sleep because it was it, that was a long time in the tunnels it was um i want to yeah. say at least three days i think it was probably more like four or five by the time you got something out. like it was it was a while and of course during that time owen has been out of town yeah um but you do you got back to town and you got to take a nice long rest and you got to level up yes but also we uh, promised to save Little Man's family. Yes. You did. You did. Yeah. Sola. Sola. Little Man. <laughs> yes. Sola. Nalitha's just, listen, you don't <laughs> expect her. She barely remembers your no. guys' name. It's true. <laughs> We're lucky she's not her friend's name. Ha! Does she remember Do I remember? No, does, I don't. Does she? <laughs> does she? <laughs> the it's fire been three days. <laughs> The oh, breakfast I mean, arsonist. <laughs> this is how we find out that what? Tamilia. Yes. This is how we find out that uh Nalitha's mind is just going. <laughs> That's how she remembers people is not by their actual names. Oh. The hot lady. That would be the girlfriend. Yeah. Smoking Our hot Chelsea. lady. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so you have all had a good night's rest and um, and you feel great the next day and, and you feel a little bit invigorated and and maybe 
maybe somewhat more magically inclined, maybe able to do a couple of new things. Is there anything that uh, that anyone got on their level up that they feel like mentioning? I'm a terrible player. Points. <laughs> I'm a terrible player. I'm sorry. I just realized I hadn't done the thing yet. That's I have okay. 104 hit points. I have 120. Eat well, it. Well, you you are <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm a frontliner. I would hope that the paladin had that. You know, I don't even remember what I got at level 12. Hold clanky, up. clanky, holy tanky. Yes, exactly. Yeah. What did Is I that... take? Should I max up my charisma or should I take a feat? Oh. Ooh. I... I mean, if you're very charismatic anyway, you might want to take a feat. I, I, took... I mean, I'm grumpy and everyone takes it as charisma. <laughs> I mean, we like your grumpy face. I have fey <laughs> teleportation now. Ooh, Ooh. What does that do? I get to Misty Step. Is that uh, uh, fey touched? Uh, I believe it is. That makes um, sense. Let me go look at where the feats are. Hold on. I mean, <laughs> previous to this, I already had Sentinel and Shield Master. Yeah. I... I... Okay. Ooh, maybe I take Tough and do more... Get, get more clanky, clanky, holy tanky. Do it. Hit points. Yes. A little bit more. Further to lucky. I just want whatever nice. feat that the the, the the paladin in the in the D and D movie has. I haven't seen it yet. So excited to see it though. No comments. No spoilers. <laughs> go see it as soon as you can. I don't have anyone to go with. I'll Come to Ohio. I'll see it with you. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so we can just go. I uh, just want to go to AMC so I can get the bucket. Oh my god, I have to go to AMC once it's actually officially out just to get the bucket. I've seen it twice now, and then none of those showings have they had, like, the merch. Aww. There's, there was a fan showing tonight, fan event tonight. But you're busy. But I'm busy doing You're D &D. here with us. Yeah. <laughs> you, missed the D &D, you missed the D&D &D movie to play D&D. &D. Yeah. Which I think is an okay trade-off. Yeah. There's some theater chain that if you bring a potato, you get a free ticket. Yes. For in-story reasons. Oh my. Okay. I say nothing more. Well, in addition to taking on the lucky feat, Herder had a feeling that this crew is really good at finding things that they don't know what it is. So he picked up the identify spell as well. Hey, <laughs> he learned Hard. how to identify things. Probably a good idea. We do that a lot. Yeah. You, you do tend to do that. No, I what you're talking about. I'm also more charismatic than I was before. Not gonna say. But that, that came with the <laughs> fey teleportation. Listen. <laughs> you know. <laughs> wow. So mean. Kiss kiss. I'm gonna go so ahead hurtful. and take tough. It's easier. Okay. Just get a little bit more tanky. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more tanky, perhaps. A little bit more? Uh, I'm at 144 now. Nice. Ooh. What is your AC? Uh, 23. Nice. Yeah. Very hard to hit that one. Tank. <laughs> I'm still squishy, but that's because I don't need to be up front. <laughs> Yeah, it I'm. Hurt. It's me and Owen who are generally up front. Herder is definitely a behind somebody big kind of guy. He's, he, oh, you know, he's, he's a few few levels lower than y'all, so he's only at fifty nine hit points and uh, like a, an AC of eleven. Uh, we need to get you some armor. We need to get you some fucking armor, my guy. <laughs> we well, just got. We gotta go digging in the hole. I, oh, well, I'll jump right back in that hole. <laughs> is absolutely an option. I am uh, leaving these is. people in the street to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I We've have already hundred... slept and woke it up. I'm back in bed. <laughs> I, fe I, I felt the bullshit and went mm, to roll back over. Yeah, I have 148 HP. Nice. Hey. It's all it's all it's all those fiber shakes he drinks, you know, just <laughs> Uh, and uh, Erasmus just hating this wizard uh, decided to uh, just, uh, you know, like work on his mage slaying skills. <laughs> okay, okay. Cool. I'm gonna get him. 
Oh, I'm going to get him. <laughs> I will write a song about it when you do. <laughs> Epic ballad. So uh, we will say that the day after you come out of the basement, um, the next morning you get up to try and find somewhere to have breakfast and the golden frog is almost ready. They've done a lot of repairs since you were gone, um, but it's not quite open yet. So uh, you do have the option of trying oh. to get Herder to open up the tavern. You know, I was really hoping that since we've been gone, I could have breakfast for the first time. <laughs> I brought breakfast meats again. I have well, tables. Then, well, then let's go knock on Herder's door and see if he'll if he'll uh, assist in the breakfasting. Or I could just pick the lock. <laughs> a like nice, not a nice annoying. surprise. Wait, 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 Is wait, it? wait. Don't we know her? Like, don't we pick lots of people we don't know? Because like, that's 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 less rude. I don't know. How? No, mm -hmm. never mind. Is it nope, less nope. rude? Mm -hmm. Never mind. I don't care. Uh, yeah, it's less rude. Uh, because uh, you know, um, there's no pre-established relationship. You're just breaking and entering. That's different. I'm not really breaking. The lock will still work after I'm done with it. Well, then we're just entering. Erasmus, I absolutely hate that logic makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so we'll just like look at them, walk up quickly and just like knock on the door. Oh, no fun. No, I'm known as the killjoy. <laughs> so her, her, her answers the door. <laughs> um, Morning. Good morning. I, I, I'm going to say that her's not alone when he answers the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Eyebrow raised straight into the stratosphere. Typical <laughs> bard. Her and good... Hespera, the librarian, answer the door. No. <laughs> well, this is this is an old folks' home, so you know oh. you get what you get. Anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, hi, hi, friends. Um, Didn't you two you, just you... meet? Hello. Well, she's him, him, new him. in town. Wanted to show her around. Yeah, just kind of. No, show but her you're one to talk. What are you talking about? Uh, we were we, we were wondering if uh, we could join you for breakfast, but if it's uh, an intrusion, we can. Oh no! I, I, Erasmus has already that, turned that's... around. Like, oh, I I see what's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> no, no, I I don't mind if you don't mind. Um, I love people coming to the bar. Come Did you call in. him Hurdy? <laughs> Already a nickname. Mm. Oh my god. Hurdy gets Gertie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a Hurdy Gertie in the other room. So. Oh, I don't even want to know what that is. I'm just going to lay on the ground. You guys finish the game without me. This is. <laughs> oh, stars and stones. Well, come on in. Come on in. Thank you. Um, yeah, sorry oh, to intrude. Are those are those breakfast meats? Of come on they're... in. <laughs> Rasmus, come eat food. Oh, okay. Y'all just walking in? All right. Well, I mean, we were, I guess. Oh, we, we, we were invited. invited. Not that that would have mattered, but I'm kind of glad I didn't pick the lock, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why you occasionally listen to the holy tank. Uh, you would have stopped me no matter what. Also, I'm holding the thing of breakfast meats. Oh, nobody wants me to pick a lock. Look, I'm more on the chaos side, so I wouldn't necessarily stop you, depending. Ah, oh, you probably would have this time, though. This time, absolutely. We don't intrude on our friends. It's not all about knocking. the pre-established relationship. That is such a loose term. Friends. Okay. No, I know. You barely consider us, like, acquaintances, even though we nearly died together. relationship. There you go. Like, that. that's the boundary for me. You 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 enter on people that you don't know at all, mm. or or wizards. Well, uh, it's good. It's a good thing none of us are wizards. Mm -hmm. Erasmus would have like murdered everybody here. I that's mean, a wizard. Wizards aren't bad people. I've worked with a few. It's necromancers that I have an issue with. 
Well, They're just trying to raise a family. You're, you're dealing with a necromancer? Yep. <laughs> oh my. That sounds uh, a bit dangerous. Everything we do is dangerous. We dealt with a dragon a couple, like a week ago. Do you, do you, you remember the books on the you're... necromancer? I've, I've got some of those. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Please. Um, it may be a, a few days till we have the whole library set up, but if, if you don't mind waiting, I will make sure I get those for you. That's fine. We have to find Little Man's family. Ain't that boy got a name? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he does, but like, I barely remember your guys' name. Knowing names means you get attached, and when that person eventually dies... Well, What's your name? Uh, my name is Nalitha. Mm-hmm. Today. No, no, <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Today. I get that. One of... is someone that I was connected to as an elf, and... Well, what was life-changing for me was, uh, you know, a week in her life. Yes. So, different perspectives on time. We have we we live fast and hard and loud. Yes. You don't. Your don't life's longer. Well, it's just also easier because if you're attached and you do something shitty, it usually gets that person it hurt too. If you're not attached, you mean, well, you, you still do something shitty. I mean, but you know, oh yeah, you still do something <laughs> shitty, but it doesn't. They don't go after your loved ones. Because you don't well, have any. Well, for what it's worth, we like having you around. Hmm. Are all y'all's conversations so heavy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is why I got out of adventuring. Yeah, this is this is a lot. Um, it's I, well, I, it's hard. It's hard to have light conversations when you see life and death frequently. Always, yes. You know, we did, uh, we did have some pretty, uh, well, I tried to have some, some deep conversations down in the, the lair. You know, when you lose most of your fingers, things are a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Door? So, and knocking at what? What? Why is somebody knocking behind me? I will, I will go open the door. Yeah, you are. I was looking all over town. I shut the door. <laughs> Hey, no, no, he's got, you know, oh, that's Owen. He's got, uh, he's got an egg to deal with. Uh-uh. <laughs> Nelitha, oh, let that the Owen dad? in. That's the dad? Kind of. Nelitha, oh. open that door. I open the door. <laughs> Fuck you. You wouldn't like it. If you want some lifetime experience. Hi, Owen. <laughs> hey, Owen, we got an egg. Who's to say well, I haven't had an elf before? <laughs> Once in someone's lifetime. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> Hello. Take it you found the other end of the hole. Uh, mm. That That Hello. is a way to put it. Yeah, we Hello. found, we found like meet, meet three... Hashbra. Four other people, library lady, little guy. I do Man. remember Chad, and I think his brother <laughs> name was Brad. Oh, some Mary. people do have names then. Oh, 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 only only funny names. Can, can we get you like a self-updating scroll or something? This is... <laughs> I'm fine. Oh. Thanks for us. Uh, you no, look welcome fine. Back. Welcome back. We missed you. I do miss you, and we got this egg to take care of. Could you maybe Hashtag. give him like five minutes to maybe uh, eat breakfast? No, -uh, no. I hand him a plate. What is this egg that you're talking about? I come with breakfast meats. An egg that I am not a part of. Okay. But it's Ooh. right here. Do I remember what the egg is about? Is it a dragon egg? We're not sure it's what's in the egg. Slightly larger than a chicken egg. Oh, we could cook it. <laughs> cook it with our breakfast meats. No, it's close. Real close. I'm I've expecting. had below to one time. That was enough. Okay. Nah, it's real close. I'm expecting. <laughs> I remember. I remember when I first <clears throat> met you. It rolled out of your hole. See. You know what? I'm sure your pregnancy was easier than mine. So good, good luck with that, mate. Also mine. I mean, I didn't even pass this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Nelith is a parent? <laughs> lore drop, lore drop. <laughs> so there's that. Just like lean. Lying or not. There. You have you have a child? A? More than one? Maybe. Maybe. You, you don't told us before that you didn't. <laughs> That's fair, but also, can you trust anything I say? Not a damn word. Inside like check. This one. <laughs> let's let's roll for it then. Roll an inside check. I didn't get any dice out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was your mistake. Oh, Fuck. sweet. Fuck. Why am I rolling, Danny? Um. Well. Are you telling the truth? Either um, deception or. Oh, whatever's the opposite. I feel like it's deception <laughs> either way because she's not going to show anything if she's telling okay. or not. Uh, my inside check is a 19. 18. Herder's feeling a 23. Uh, also a 23. Nat 20 for also a 23. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> And is that is that a it, meets it beats a situation it or it beats, is it a yeah no we're gonna go with if it meets it beats so how is your deception that low i'm Good. sorry 28 <laughs> i looked up I, I <laughs> okay really i'm rolling. rolling everybody else was rolling inside i also rolled inside <laughs> okay. okay i was very confused i was like how <laughs> you're a rogue <laughs> lying's not important only only stealth and picking locks is important <laughs> Apparently. Only also, need I apologize if you get caught. Also, I apologize, E. My audio peaked horribly in there. Oh, no worries. I'm sure I have to deal with my own asthmatic bark wheeze laugh, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Yeah, no. Your laugh sorry. always makes me smile. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, none of you really know what to make of Nelitha, as always. We never do. <laughs> in I like this one. I like it. Uh, Owen's just kind of blushing off to the side. <laughs> yeah, right there, buddy. Yes. How how is your niece? Good. Um, Good. got the pixie infestation taken care of. They're actually Good. business partners now. Um, turned out to be more of a wisp situation. Ah, got it taken care of. That's what you get for buying a murder house. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, that is usually what you get for buying a murder house. Why did they buy the murder house? She said something about getting a good deal on it. I okay, mean... No, 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 hold on. The question is, did someone die there or did the house kill them? Because those are two very different things for murder house. Maybe a both. family was murdered in the house. A, Slightly better. Okay. A secret third thing, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone family died murdered. in the house. But what? did no. <laughs> your, your friend said that it had to do with the bakery? Did did you bring pies back? I brought cookies, just as good. What kind of cookies? Bre breakfast meats and cookies. Perfect. Perfect. Life short. Eat dessert first. Owen lays out a dozen various sundry cookies. Ooh. Where did I put that? Oh. I'll take a salted caramel cookie if we're deciding on our own. Grab one roll of those. A, roll a D8. Ooh. I will take a chocolate chip, I guess. Roll a D8. Oh, God. Her, her almost grabbed the same oh, chocolate chip that... No. Uh, oh, that you would have got Christmas. lost a finger to go with Christmas your girlfriend. grabs <laughs> the plainest sugar cookie that has ever existed. <clears throat> roll a D8. <laughs> uh, I got... I got it too. Um, you suddenly have this feeling of off in the distance, all around the town, you can detect whether things are good or evil. Oh, so my usual uh, divine sense, but further. <laughs> yes. Cool. One. You feel as if, if you maybe made some specific hand gestures, you could create something. Can I try it? What is this? Yes. I want to try it. <laughs> Six. Three little balls of light come out. <laughs> my little, my f birds. Yeah. You said a six? Yep. 
you feel like maybe if you jumped really hard, maybe you could fly. Oh, that's yeah. dangerous. That is dangerous for you, Erasmus. Herder her got an eight. An eight. You go to sleep. <laughs> How long oh. do these effects last? Uh, that's up to you to find out. Uh, uh, how did I just experience oh, an alcalepsy? Okay? <laughs> He'll be is fine. Okay. But you know, um, I mean, like, uh, is that like, well, he didn't fall asleep, bunched down in the tunnels. Hey, Herder. Hesper is going to have a cookie too, and she rolled a three. Oh, she rolled a three. Can I smack Herder to wake him up? Three is detect thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at Nelitha says, Stop that. <laughs> I do it anyway. <laughs> Right across the face. Does it wake her up? <laughs> That's a magical sleep, so only if she does damage. Does she do damage? I could hit him hard enough to do damage. <laughs> Nespera stands in front of you because she knows you're thinking of that. That that's a surface level thought. Um stop that. Leave do you alone. want him awake? He'll wake up, it's fine. Just it's just a little no no tap. Trust me, he could use the sleep. We were a little bit uh, busy. Oh no! Uh, Listen, mm. But... Mm. looking looking very thoughtful. The soldier is actually going to step out into the street and concentrate and see if this extended divine sense tells her anything about I don't know a nearby necromancer. Could you imagine? You yes, I can. A a sense of evil, a very faint, towards the east side of the town, the northeast. I'll be right back. Don't wait for me, and I'll uh, go uh, go toward uh, the east northeast side of town. I I'm gonna follow. This is you. Do not go alone. Take this. I'm not <laughs> going to leave the town. I'm just following the sense to get a better sense of what of of where I'm pointing at later. Listen, Hester would probably like <laughs> Anilitha gone anyway, so she doesn't like, keep smacking her. <laughs> so fair point. I'm all limbered up from my recent battle, so I'll come with you. All right. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pick Queen's her very up. Rules. <laughs> Well, come on, Herder. Oh, fisty cups. Oh. Come on, Herder. Should I come with you all? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You know what? I mean, you know. If, uh, no. Not, what? No. Why not? What this... if she dies? Herder will be very upset. What if she's not there? Her is very upset as I pick Herder Some, up. Somebody is watching the bar. Oh, yeah, I should watch the bar. Okay. Bring him back, sorry, please. So, sorry, I just don't want you, you know, dead yet. Oh, you know, with, with only, like, three fingers, I, I can only do so much. I can't really hold a weapon or anything. I can hold That's a book, fair. But, uh... oh, you, we, can, we can get some rope and just tape it to your hand, just, like, wrap it to your hand. Just, I'm following. Ha. I'm following a soul. Yeah, it's it, 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 threatening this woman. It's so has fully tuned this conversation out and is just walking. Well, come on, Owen. As I just. Okay. Do you, do you grab the egg? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> so the um, the golden frog. Egg herder. Um, <laughs> the golden frog where you'd normally eat is on the the west side of the river and herder's tavern is on the west side of the river just sort of at the opposite ends of the the main uh, gathering area of town what does your divine sense tell you <laughs> we're following something but you haven't really explained i mean you chose to follow me are you gonna trust that or not i mean it was I mean... either you know that whole thing where you shouldn't like split up because then like people start to die a little bit easier that felt like this kind of situation i'm not going to leave the town it doesn't matter <laughs> apparently not um there I... could be people here that want to kill you you don't know they can certainly try that's fair <laughs> <laughs> um to me it it smells like death uh, a rotting corpse a dissonant tune on the edge of my mm. hearing off in that direction okay i'm used to divine sense closer in the cookie expanded my ability to 
hear, ah. feel, smell, whatever. It's a good cookie. Yeah. So it, I it am. Gave her to narcolepsy. <laughs> I have a feeling that it's different dependent on who takes it and what happens. But we just gotta, you know, maybe. Yeah, I heard it'll be fine. Oh, and we 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 need to set up a a supply line of these things. <laughs> yes, please. Um, you'll have to talk to my niece. We no are happy not. to we are happy to pay to have them <laughs> shipped in this direction. So you start. I love the faces that Eve's making over there. <laughs> Frantically typing something to Danny. <laughs> you start um, towards the um, words towards the river, um, and of course there are two bridges, one at the north end, north west end, and one at the southeast end. And of course, it's right when you're at sort of the center part of the river that you feel the pull, the, the sense that is towards the north west? East. You said east. I meant the upper the left hand corner of the map. <laughs> okay. Northwest. northwest then. Northwest. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, All right. So you feel the pull towards there. So you have to make a decision about whether you're going to go up and right or down and left. Either way, you can't really cross the river in the center. There's... Oh, I suppose you could try. Not the holy tanky. <laughs> <laughs> how how far is it across the river? Um, it's a fairly substantial river. Um... Let me make this easier. Is it short? Is, is it within 30 feet? No. Okay. No. Were you going to jump it? What's happening? I have Misty Step. Oh, that's fair. Same. The two Paladin. of us Misty Step <laughs> out. <laughs> um, I sort of like pause there and and uh, it's almost kind of a whole bit holding her hand up in front of herself, feeling it out and looking and going. A bridge here would be too convenient, wouldn't it? Would you well wait doesn't one of you have like a foldable raft both of us do i think foldable boat yes yeah we could just use that and go across all right here's the real question do okay. we follow the sense now it's morning yeah <laughs> danny's gonna murder him it's fine it's fine <laughs> he's gonna us. It's behind the curtain this is supposed to be a shopping episode Heard her snores. <laughs> yeah. You know, we fine. basically kidnapped him, right? He doesn't even have his armor on him. I mean, kidnapping is a strong word. Breaking and entering, kidnapping. <laughs> we have we didn't break it. Shush, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't break and enter. We knocked. But at this point, if we go further, he will be without equipment. Yeah, I'm, but... I, I think that it would be better to take the risk of this sense running out and make sure that we are all properly equipped do you oh i it wouldn't help i was thinking that i could scout ahead a little bit maybe i could see something um point me in a general direction i'll just look at her and be like that away okay <clears throat> i can't be more specific than that it's that's fine insubstantial I could go a ways out at least to see if anything's even a little bit close to town. Anything weird, creepy, whatever, and then come back. This is the moment when I really wish I had sending stones. Hmm. Fair. I'm going to suggest you're you're a grown adult significantly older than me. I can't tell you what to do. I'm going to suggest that you go an hour two at the outside out and then come back. All right. Remember what you said about not splitting the, the group? Oh, I know, but I'm a sneaky sneaky. You're much sneakier than I am. I will certainly give you that. Yes. In the meantime, the rest of us 
gather our equipment, get armored up. I didn't put my armor on to go eat breakfast. Yeah, you don't put your armor on to go eat breakfast? You're out of practice. <clears throat> you know what? Today was supposed to be a in-town day of resting and recovering. Oh, no, it's apparently I mean, not in the cards. I'm, I'm, I'm resting. Back, I'm back in adventurer <laughs> mode now. Just like wake up, put on armor. Go I'm, to bed. I'm, I'm too old for that shit. Mm. Maybe see if you could pick up sending stones here. I'll look. I think yeah. that would be a good idea to have on hand. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, you. Do you know where my house is? Well, no. We'll we'll, we'll gather back at the tavern. Yeah. I don't think anybody knows where anybody's house is. I'm sure Nelda knows where everybody how everybody's house is. <laughs> <There's that. laughs> <laughs> She's the probably been in bitch. everyone's house. <laughs> um little books and things have been moved like on bookshelves. <laughs> no. Erasmus keeps like almost nothing in his house except for like the bare metal. <laughs> Nolitha went in and went, this is sad and then left. <laughs> he still, he like, he still lives like somehow like this like almost like collegiate like Spartan life like. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, I I'll I'll, I'll reach into the bag of holding that I did check over my shoulder, not the rest of my stuff, the bag of holding, and pull out the chest that has the folding boat in it. Get this back to me. But this is going to be the easiest way to get across. Yeah, that's fair. I take it, I make it a boat, and I go across the river. Okay. So you go across the river, and mm. um, where where are you going? Heading in the direction I pointed. that <laughs> okay. assault pointed, uh, keeping low and trying to move as stealthily as possible. And you um, have no detection abilities. You don't. No, 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 no. I, but I'm gonna do a little bit of tracking. Okay. Um, you go through a, a bit of a residential area. There are a bunch of houses. Um, there are some folks on their porches who give you glowers as you go past the ones that see you. I'm sure there are a bunch that don't notice you at all because, you know, you're Nelitha. Oh, yeah. Um, you continue towards the edge of town. Um, roll me... Roll me an investigation. Because you're looking around, right? Yeah. That's not terrible. I got this. Give me my d20. Ooh. Twenty-six. Okay. Not terrible. Um, nothing really looks out of place in town. Okay. Um you walk past the graveyard at the edge of town. It looks like a graveyard. Um, you don't spot anything out of the unusual there. Mm. How far do you go? How long have I been moving? Probably about 10 minutes or so, maybe 15. I'm, I'm going to go. Town, so. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going out of town, too. Okay. Um, check what I can through forest or whatever to make sure that there's not any strange magics or whatever. Okay. And you're going for an hour is what you agreed on or a half hour yeah. out and a half an hour. An, an hour to two hours was what Assault said. Okay. Yeah. By the end of the hour, you haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. There are no mm. strange tracks, no footprints. And by that point, Isolt, your um, extra detection seems to have decreased back to sort of its its normal vicinity. Sure. Herder still asleep. Um, Herder has woken up by now. That was about an. The hour. sweet hell. What? Where are we? Oh what? Oh, uh, not at the bar. We, Put me uh... down. We should okay. be back in the bar by then. All right, we close the bar. Because we agreed to meet back in the bar. <laughs> All right. Where did the where did the elf go? 
Wow. Her, her name's Nelitha. She doesn't know anybody's name. I don't know her name. <laughs> Be better than her. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> Be better than her. Uh, I I sensed something, and she's scouting in that direction. Are you okay, sweetie? Um, yes. Ew. Yeah. Do you watch the bar? You're not I here. Go away. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Thank it, you. It, it didn't do anything. It... Erasmus. Hmm? Uh -oh. I need you to roll me a d6, please. Yeah, little buddy. <laughs> you just have an egg? I've, I've got I've got four chickens in my backyard. Of course, I just have <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I wish you lived closer. Eggs are exorbitant. Yep. <laughs> so D six. Yes, please. Four. You hear a little bit of a cracking sound. Oh no. Oh, 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 little buddy. Uh, don't want to smother you. This is how Herder's bar explodes. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Just give it some breathing room. Make a little nest for it. Well, where are you putting it? Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I reach into my backpack and not my hole. And I pull out, uh, let's see here, some parchment, because I have that on sheet, and some rations, and I kind of make a little nest for it. Okay. Heard her get some rags oh, from behind God's the bar sake. and offers the pulls the out rags. the hat he's working on. <laughs> <laughs> here. Oh, there you go. Is Nelitha back at this point, or is she still out? She's still out. She's not okay. going to come back right away. Okay. It it feels like a bit of a slow process, but you, you hear the gentle cracking. And everyone's sort of watching to see what's going to happen, because what is this? Yeah. Uh, I will note that Assault has definitely put her armor on at this point and has her sword just in case. I am sure that I have picked up nothing dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> that cursed plate that you have in your possession suggests you mean the otherwise. Best, you mean the best plate in the world? I mean the plate that, that required me to spend a spell slot to break your obsession with it. It's a pretty good plate. Just, you know. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> pretty good. Her, her I, thinks, I, me, go ahead. I will just shatter it and throw it in the river. Nice, nice place. Her thinks work. he maybe should have used identify. So. <laughs> As you are watching this egg, all of a sudden, with a giant crack, it splits. And it's almost like the fabric of reality bends no. around it. And suddenly, the entire bar, every single table in there, is set and piled with food, a feast for a hundred people. That's not that's not a baby at all. <laughs> oh, what a relief. And Hespera, it's gonna it's it's gonna be a good night tonight, Hespera. <laughs> I'm gonna need another your, tail. Um, your good and evil is not tingling at all. This is just food as far as you're aware. That ain't a baby at all. That's like the opposite of a baby. Okay, not the opposite, I guess. But that'd be a grown ass adult, an old ass man. But yeah, a baby. <laughs> the opposite of a baby is a corpse. That is basically what you just said. I mean, that's not incorrect. I mean, no. technically, it's all food here. It's technically a bunch of corpses, bird corpse, you know, brisket corpse, bunch of, bunch of corpses. <laughs> Have to use that this weekend. <laughs> I might. I, I. I don't know. You. You tell me, Danny. Would I be familiar with the spell Heroes Feast? I think you probably would. I wanted like. I don't have a lot of like detection 
type magic, but I want to try and find out if this is what this is. Okay. Um, like, taste the food and see if it tastes magical. Like hit or... points. <laughs> yeah, if it tastes like hit points. Okay. Like if it tastes points. like hit points and no fear, oh wait, I'm already immune to that. <laughs> um, so are you just taking a bite of it, or are you trying to do some sort of magic? I think I'm using uh, divine sense via mouth sense <laughs> to try and be like, that's the stuff. Um, what do you That's think the worst sentence. Like... That is the worst sentence I have ever said. I wanted to. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, if there's like a pear or something. Okay. You take a bite of a pear and it is possibly the best tasting pear you've ever put in your mouth. But it seems to be just a pear. You don't feel any different. You don't notice anything different. You don't sense anything. It's just a really good fucking pear. Just stare at this eggshell. Is the eggshell still there? Yes, and it, it is split very neatly down the center, as if, like, sliced and just split open. It's not... A jagged crack, like you would expect from an animal hatching out. It's just—it's just cut. Yeah. I check the ground for some kind of baby. Like maybe it's under the tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me an investigation. Sure. <clears throat> you were you were really counting on having a baby to raise there, weren't you? Look, I have done nothing but nonsense my entire life. Maybe I was looking for something to do. Maybe I have a reason to decorate my house. A child should be more than that. <laughs> Look, er yes. does Erasmus strike you as responsible? No! <laughs> 20. You give a thorough search. There is no sign of anything other than this feast that has just appeared. Well, I just kind of look at it and say, like, well, Owen, here's our baby. Congrats, I'm it's indigestion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to turn to... Uh, is Hespera? Yes. I'm going to turn to Hespera. Have you heard of anything like this in your books? Oh, let me let me think for a moment. Um, well, time to eat. I get the plate that everyone hates. There there have been <laughs> some some magical devices that have stored things like this that just produce a meal it's a a, a way of, of traveling um the, they seem to mostly be in like fairy tales i didn't think they were real but honestly for a long time i didn't think dragons were real but clearly they are beholders those are things that are real so why not an egg full of food many things that we think are only stories are more than that So yeah, um, is anyone else planning to do anything with this food? Well, I'm going to use this plate that they all hate to <laughs> eat this food. <laughs> if right. you make me have to cast remove curse again, I'm going to take it, break it, and throw it in the river. You know, that I, I think... doesn't work. We tried. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once you remove curse, however, it's no longer attached to him. But the plate still comes back. They've tried to get rid of the plate. After remove curse? No. No. Not after remove curse. Not after remove curse. The curse attaches it to you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good place. Remove curse. No longer attached. Bye. Yeah. I think this place just made out of a creepy doll, and it's just going to be back. <laughs> the same porcelain they use for the creepy dolls is what they use for this plate. <laughs> Herder's going to uh, enjoy some of this delicious food as well. Okay. And yeah, it is it is the best food any of you have ever tasted. It is just high quality. Isolt doesn't trust it. She's not eating any of it. Well, I'll I will take Assault's untrusted pay, uh portion of food then. <laughs> Do you have more uh, eggs in your hole? I hope so. <laughs> Cuz I mean, this could really help with my overhead. Everything comes at a cost, Herder. 
Uh, well, you can usually find someone else to pay it. <laughs> and you know what? And that is tomorrow Erasmus's problem. <laughs> I feel like that's your motto. <laughs> Everything comes at a cost, and eventually you're going to have to be the one to pay it. Yeah, the bill comes due. Yeah, people are good. Enemies will eventually come back to slay you. Yeah, of course, you know, the necromancer will rise from his grave for the 51st time. It's always something. With you, yes, there's always something. <laughs> I'm Hello. amazed that you haven't murdered him yet, Owen. You saved my life. Hmm. You regret that? <laughs> <laughs> Some days. There. Well, I mean, you know. I'd love to hear that story sometime. Couldn't just, leave, the right couldn't just leave you there. We've saved each other off and on over the years. I've lost track of who owes who, so we just stick together. I suppose that's one way to do it. Really sweet. Well, those of you who eat the meal, enjoy a great meal. And there is a lot of food left over. This is a feast for 100 people. So even with three of you, four of you, because Hespera is going to go ahead and eat some. Even with four of you eating, there's not much of a dent being made. But the food still like you know has like a pretty powerful aroma right oh yeah it smells fantastic all right cool so i'm gonna go to the door of herder's bar and i'm gonna cast warding wind to push the air out of the bar <laughs> uh that way i'm gonna drum some business maybe for herder as people smell the food i'm i'm writing a sign on the chalk slate with the prices <laughs> so that when people come in <laughs> we're ready and uh and uh, Erasmus, I will. I, we, let me know what the split is on this. This is how we kill a retirement village. <laughs> Two of us will stay alive. Yeah. Uh, while well, all this is going on, Assault's going to slip out and go and sit by the riverbank waiting for Nelitha to come back. Okay. Um. Yes, we're going to kill them with Crisco. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst way to go. At least use butter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so the the warding wind works. It sends the wafts of this delicious food out into the the whole little uh, marketplace, and it's not long before people are popping in and you know dropping a few copper, a few silver, a few gold, whatever, depending on what they feel like eating and. And you're feeding most of a great portion of the town. Herder grabs his bagpipes and starts playing to entertain them while they're here. Excellent. What a terrible instrument to try and entertain <laughs> with. Herder's really good at his bagpipes. <laughs> I don't care, so bagpipes. <laughs> these old these old people love it. <laughs> they do. They seem to really Not enjoy so it. old person would love it. <laughs> I don't I don't actually have a preference with bagpipes. I'm just being an ass. <laughs> um, but yeah, the 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 feeding goes well. Everyone seems to enjoy it and there are no negative impacts that you are able to observe. Meanwhile, Nelitha, you make your way back. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you do see assault uh, at the river. Yeah, I'll cross to her. Anything interesting? Not that I could find. I don't think it's a bad idea if we don't head that direction soon, in case it's still there. Um, but there was nothing out of the ordinary from how far I went. Well, our companions are currently being gluttons. Erasmus's egg hatched. 
and they decided to eat it after. Erasmus's egg hatched and produced a feast for a hundred people. I've never heard of something like that. Are we sure it's not cursed? I no, I'm not sure. I had a I had a bite of a pear. It seemed fine. It was delicious. I didn't eat anything else and came out this way. Well, when I when I left, they were feeding the entire town. So if it's cursed, at least it's spread out. Well, that's where. Oh, um, do you remember where he got this egg? It was in the Dragon Horde, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was uh, one of the things that was thrown into uh, the portable hole. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh no. DV oh. the player looks distressed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana the player is not far behind, to be perfectly I... honest. Like, I hear this shit and I go, what the Fuck! I'm embodying my chaotic good character. I'm just here for the vibes. <laughs> we the chaotic good very differently. I'm a bard. <laughs> uh, I hey. hope no. I hope no one that you uh, like ate any of that food. I don't know many people here besides our little group. Mm, so that's fair. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um. I do think it would be advisable to set off sooner than later if it was close enough that it was sensible even within the expanded divine sense range. I don't know how far it actually was, but it was no. close enough that I could feel it. Uh, no, I agree with that. Um, here's your boat back. Thank you. Slip You're it welcome. back into the bag of holding. Um, but I didn't, I did not see anything out of the ordinary, but maybe if we also had your divine sense as I was going we could have pinpointed it better well shoulda woulda coulda yeah do do we leave now or like after we get everybody obviously or do we wait for tomorrow to make sure they're not dead or cursed or under somebody's thrall now between you, me, and the river, I think that uh, waiting until tomorrow to make sure they aren't dead, cursed, or enthralled is a good idea. And we've lost enough daylight at this point that I don't particularly want to set out just yet. That's fair. But in the morning. Right. Did you find any sending stones? I was so concerned with what was going on with this damned egg that I didn't even look. I, I didn't know how soon that was after I left. It was almost immediate. Like, as soon as we got back to the the tavern. Are you... Oh, my God. Okay. But let's... Let's, uh, let's go see what we can find as far as that goes, because I am in no rush to get back to the tavern. No, I don't think I am either... Right, so let's see if we could find any sending stones. Yeah, and may possibly something different to eat. <laughs> well, the I'm not a you good do cook, breakfast, so yes, yes, yes. I'm not a good cook, but I can knock together food. I I'm a pr- decent cook. If we have to, we can stop by my place. Perfect. So we'll head back into town. I, I, I've been there long enough to know if there's a magic shop or anything that might have magical things. Herb light. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it I, I, the player, got briefly caught by that particular MLM, so I have very <laughs> deep-seated rage. <laughs> So, what's the real I have curse? very deep seated rage when it comes to that particular MLM. Yeah, what's the real curse? A, a egg full of food or an MLM? <laughs> They're both terrible. I will set fire to both of them. Yeah. But this was not an MLM. It's just, you know, Ivadil thought it was a nice name. It sounded 
Kathy. Sure. Sure. Her. That's what they all say. And then it turns into an MLM. And suddenly you're giving them your money and you're in a fucking cult. Call your dad. <laughs> okay. That's it's very the ending that really made that one for me. That's very specific. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. So, for the record, I, I'm in favor of calling your daddy. So, uh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> while uh, while Isolt and uh, Nelitha are coming back, uh, Herder. But we are uh, not. <laughs> while, while they're doing their thing, Herder is um, uh, spending some more time talking with Erasmus and Owen and, and uh, trying to convince them to uh, tell him about the adventures that they've had up to this point. Um, primarily because. Greg the player knows what happens, but her the character doesn't. <laughs> Fill him in. Tell him all our stuff. Well, where are we start? I think a star would have bet, really. Which one? <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good point. Which one? Well, I mean, it's I guess it started. Well, I mean, where do you want to start? Like, like what Don't since the beginning, we've all... beginning. Or yeah. like when we met the, the girls. Yeah. <laughs> so you while this story me. goes on, um, <laughs> so you tell her the story. Yeah. <laughs> Nelitha and Assault, you do make it over to Herblight, to to Avidil's store. We'll, we'll call it Avidil's store to make it less painful. And uh, she is there, standing behind the counter, dusting off something. Smiles up at you as the door opens. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hi. Well, how are you? Fantastic. Uh, just a quick question. Well, we won't bother you for terribly long. I uh, just wondering if you had access to uh, sending stones or anything of that nature. You know, I think I've got some in the back. Just give me a moment to go check. I, I'm sure I've got them. Of course. Um... How, how many are you looking for? Uh, one set for certain, and if there's a way to get two sets and sync them up, that would be fantastic. Sure, let's see. Let's see what I can do. There's five of us, though. Sorry, what? Look. There's five, <laughs> there's five of us, though. <laughs> yes, but if we are split more than four ways, we're dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Really, we could probably get by with only one set because it's usually we, Nalitha that goes off by herself. We probably could, but at this point, assault is salty. That's fair. <laughs> and it wasn't from that delicious food. I was like, you know what else is salty? Feast <laughs> for a hundred. <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad that I'm glad that someone is enjoying it, and assault will stay very far. Look, you haven't ever asked her who her goddess is. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> She doesn't he, trust he, food that appears out of nowhere. He'd probably be asking if she had stayed back at the bar. <laughs> look, we look, we we just ate cookies that that may have came from Pixies because that's where Owen came from. Yeah, so, but Owen, oh. but Owen vetted them, and I trust Owen more than I trust Erasmus. That is also <laughs> fair. And and also I trust Owen more than a random egg from a dragon horde. Ah. It, look, it's it, not a high bar to clear, but you no. do clear it. <laughs> the bar is on the ground. I mean, it's a it is the a, bar it, is in hell, and you still <laughs> managed to limbo under it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, Erasmus is related to Hermes Conrad, uh, limbo champion. Clearly, <laughs> wow. wow. Oh no. So it, it takes just a couple minutes, and Ivadil does come back out with a small box. Well, I have a pair that are uh, 350 th gold, of course. Um, I don't have a second set, but... A one set is fantastic. Okay, I, I mean, I can always put in an order and get them for you in a couple of weeks, if that works. Um, I... I well, now I think the one set is okay. If we figure out later that we need more than one, we'll put in an order. But we don't want you to waste your time, just in case. All right. Oh, I mean, it's always Certainly. an excuse to go see my daughter. Very fair. And I will reach into my bag of holding and, and count out 350 gold pieces. And put I'll them give on you... The you, can, you can catch me later. We'll deal All with right. that. All we'll right. All just... right. Only one money pouch has to come out at a time. 
That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> and I mean, 350 GP for, for setting stones? Good price. Excellent price. Do yep. your discount. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Stars and stones. It 100% is. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Cool. Yeah, I'll grab the, the the sending stones and then I'll look at them and just look. We know how the breakdown usually goes. I'll hand one to Nelitha and I'll put one in my pocket. <laughs> I would trust you more with the sending stone than I would the guys. I, I, would, I, also... I, would, I, would, I would trust Owen. Owen's got a good head on his shoulders. Owen got bit in the ass by a bunny. <laughs> Weird things happen out on adventures. That wasn't his fault. Uh, Melissa will slip the uh, sending stone into one of her pockets as well. Did Did Owen up to the getting bit in the ass uh, by a bunny story when they were telling her or what happened? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have this at least. Yes. Easier way to keep in contact. Let's go see if the if the guys are cursed or dead yet. <laughs> if half the town is cursed or dead yet. Oh, you know. So there's only so far that my charisma can go, and trying to make them stop when food is involved is nigh impossible. I'm sorry. No, I'm not mad about it. I I'm am. disappointed in them. Fair enough. <laughs> oh hungry. man, the classic. I'm not mad. It's the mom disappointment, no I'm less. I'm just disappointed. Oh <laughs> <Yikes>. man. <laughs> oh lord. What fools these mortals be. Mm. So, All right, let's... as you head back across the uh, marketplace, you do, of course, walk past the giant wizard statue. And uh, you both have high enough perception to notice all of the easels around it. <laughs> the... Like, are people painting it? <laughs> Do you take a look at what's on these easels? Yeah. Yes. It is very much like an art class. There are, there's paint, there's charcoal, there's some pastels. It looks like a watercolor or two. Like, I guess if you've spent however long you've lived here just painting the town, it got boring. And then a wizard I... statue showed up. I feel like someone here is able to cast some sort of illusions to have different images pop up. You would think, but... You would think. Uh, does anything stand out on the paintings? Did somebody make him sexy or anything like that? Well, or, or, uh, or, 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 or did anyone... Is, he's made into um, a merfolk. Hmm. Top half human-ish wizard, bottom half fishy tail. I, w I will look at all of them to see if there's any like weird runes or anything that someone else saw that we didn't. Yeah. Okay, um, roll me an investigation, please. Sweet. Uh -oh, what is my investigation? Not good. Uh, 15. Okay. 21. Okay. Um, you don't spot any runes or anything like that that um, stand out to you as things that you would have missed. Uh, you do find a painting that you wish you hadn't seen and you wish there was some eye bleach around, but um, other than that, nothing nothing really catches your eye. My my, my protege spends entirely mm. too much time on the various uh, nets. I have seen things I, w I wish I could eye bleach many times. It's fair. But you do get back to Herder's Tavern the stout singer, and the food is mostly gone at this point. There's still some, there's still enough if you, if you want to play it. Absolutely not. No, thank you. Assault filled me in. Would you like me to uh, start packaging it up, Herdy? I can, I can like make some neat plates and put them in the back. That'd be great. I appreciate that. Sure. It's so nice to have help around and a friend to talk to. Well, you just yeah. wait till I open the library. <laughs> oh, yeah. A friend to I talk to. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. 
You heard my song about the books. You know I love it. And more books. <laughs> and more books. And more books. books. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, everything seemed normal, other than there's a lot of food. No trust. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, uh, Nelitha wasn't able to find anything when she went out scouting, but we do have at least a direction. I suggest that if we wish to track down this wizard problem, that we do so in the morning. Or at least the dark. We, we don't know if that's actually him, the it's... evil, but... Would it be accurate? Because I just, I just riffed. Uh, would it be accurate to say that it did smell like death like corruption like what 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 was i picking up from the yeah, sound and the smell because like, divine sense is like it be, being pressed on your actual senses it was very much the the smell of death and and sort of decay and rotting corpses i mean i can't say for sure that it's yeah. a necromancer but it smelled like one that's fair maybe there was something in the cemetery that i didn't see but Oh, there you are. Oh, here we are. Hi. Yeah. My internet is unstable. Oh, oh no. no. Well, we should be wrapping up relatively soon. We are. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so, are we going after this mysterious force in the morning, or yes. are we going to Magrona Island? Because I have good news on that front. Oh. Right. Oh. They have set up. A network of porters guilds so we can just teleport anywhere along the the guild network oh. the closest one is in glimmerhold very convenient okay that's helpful if one of the portals is near where we're going it is they've got one at magrona of course they do all right I, so i don't i don't remember what's magrona that's that's the wizard school Yes. Oh. Yeah. The the wizards. The uh, I... very shitty rival wizard school. Uh, sure. Uh, I don't know because it was close enough that I could pick it up with the extent. Did... Oh, and do you know how far the range is from the cookies? I do not. I don't know much. I could not communicate with the pixies especially well. Bit of a language barrier. Ah. Is there anyone in your knowledge who can? Does anyone speak Sylvan? I do! There we go. Do you want to go visit? <laughs> sure! <laughs> no. <laughs> no? It'll take us like two days to get there and the mysterious well, smell could be gone by then. Well, I say tomorrow. I mean, not now. Later. We could figure that out. But... I say tomorrow we find the smell that was closer to home. And then if we don't find anything or the divine sense is gone, we go to Glimmerhold. I mean, even Fey things, there's a there's a range. Yeah. If it's within, on the outside, 10 to 20 miles, yeah. that is entirely too close. Yeah, exactly. Would 10 to 20 miles encompass that table? Which table? The uh, oh. sacrifice table. Like, could, could could I be picking up residual stuff from that? That is the opposite direction. Okay. Mm. The it was coming from the northwest, and the mountain is towards the east. This is a new direction. We've been focusing on the mountain this whole time but this is different mm. is it the same direction that we know this Madrona place is no that's to the south but we need to deal with dangers that are closer to home and would it be better to have more information yes but we might be on a bit more of a time strain Yes. <clears throat> a shitty wizard school is going to stand for as long as shitty wizards are going to it, but we should take care of what's at home. Exactly. Well, and I if you three are alive in the morning. I, I can concentrate on finding the, the necromancer books preferentially. Uh, Chela's helping me 
with gathering the books so I, I can look for those first so that... That would be a good idea. That would be helpful. Certainly, yes. And I mean, Herder, I don't mean to make decisions for you. I apologize. You've, you have a new friend and interests here. You don't have to come with us. You are absolutely welcome and wanted. But you don't have to. Uh. We're not going to force you. <laughs> Shut up, Nella. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Absolutely I'm... no change in tone or expression <laughs> as she says, Shut up, Nella. <laughs> it it's okay, thank 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 woman. I, I uh I uh <laughs> I uh Tank um, woman. <laughs> Her name is Assault. I'm sorry, oh, I've know, been hanging oh, you around you name, too much. Right. I forget names. Uh so <laughs> Uh, no, it's okay. I, I get scoffed as a bard. I get scoffed at often. I, it rolls rolls off my back like water off a duck, and um, you know, I I quit adventuring a while back, but we did have some fun, and um, I I look over to Hesper and and say, do you, do you think you could watch the bar for me for a little bit while I'm uh, down? work on the library getting it set up just how you want it but certainly it's, it's going to be some time before the library is ready so i need something to keep yeah, myself I'd, occupied I'd, I'd love to come with you guys as long as you'll have me absolutely that's of course. Cool. excellent come with most of y'all as long as you'll have me anyway <laughs> then we'll set off in the morning all right so, uh, but I do hate to be that guy again. I quit adventuring a long time ago, and I got beat up a little bit down, <laughs> down there. I see that you have acquired money from I, selling whatever this is. Go to town and buy some shit before we leave. The town or, doesn't have adventuring stores. Or we can just go in the hole. I loved your hole, man. Oh it was a God, great it's... visit last time. See? See? <laughs> Suss right. out any more eggs. I will just look. this time we'll bring a flashlight. Not going okay. on the hole blind. All right. Maybe maybe somebody could come in the hole with me and help me pick out some good stuff. If it's okay with you, Erasmus. Yeah, absolutely. All, look, um, I set I'm this down to... at the foot of a dragon horde and I just pushed. <laughs> I'm happy to assist. Thank you. Okay. So we've got that, that identify that... spell now too. You are yes. you are able to pop in there, and um, I will send you some stats on something that you find. But you will definitely find some armor to uh, protect you somewhat. I appreciate that. And Although my friends have been providing wonderful protection up to this point, a little bit of but armor some will hurt. Armor will always help. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you all retire to your homes for the evening. You all get a good long night's rest. And in the morning, you all return to the Stout Singer to meet up to get ready to go. And as you are there, Isolt, how far does your detect good and evil tend to reach normally? Uh, normally, let me double check that. Uh, Divine Sense is within 60 feet of me. Okay. When I say it got expanded. Yeah, it, it was substantially expanded. You don't sense anything, but you hear something. What do I hear? You hear... It, at first you think perhaps it's the rustling of leaves. But it's getting closer. And you start to smell that same evil smell. That sort of decay and, and rot and death. But Assault's not the only one that smells it. And that's where we're going to leave it. No, buddy. Who cool. else smells it? Everyone. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, cool. Zombies. Yeah, probably. 
the feast turned everybody into zombies. It's just going to be a Salt and uh, Nalitha fighting their way out of this fucking No, 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 no. Commoners have, have HP of four and, like, no saving throws. The, the, the adventurers at least have a chance. <laughs> well, shit, it ain't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I almost hope that's what this is, if only just for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, you'll have to come back in two weeks to find out. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I don't usually leave us on a cliffhanger like that, but I needed one. So. No, it's fine. Sorry, I've got like five billion sirens going on. Oh. We cannot hear them if it makes I'm glad clear. Audacity does. <laughs> oh, that's fair. A little shit. <laughs> oh, uh, well, thank yeah. you all for playing and uh, <laughs> putting up with um, two weeks of wondering what the hell's going to happen. It'll be fun. It's fine. Oh, honey, you, you think I'm not used to cliffhangers. You listen true to enough. my podcast. That is true. <laughs> but you're not used we to it from me, so. We listen to your podcast. It's a cliffhanger for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, everyone. We will be back in two weeks to find out uh, what is that weird dead smell. So we're going to play, play what's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> what's that smell? Best that game ever. The... Carter's girlfriend. Is it? Oh, hey now! No! Oh, oh, come on! Hey now! The library <laughs> smells like books. Thank you, not like death. Uh, excuse she me. Smelled. She I'm... smelled like books. Yeah. Now she smells like death because everybody who <laughs> ate the meal is a zombie. Her 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 girlfriend hasn't committed arson. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in fairness, I don't think Nelson's girlfriend did it on purpose. Arson ar arson requires intent. Look, look, do you want it to be arson or incompetence? Because, like... <laughs> incompetence is easier to work with. Arson, with sec second arson. degree arson. L listen, do we expect anything different from somebody who's dating Nalitha? I didn't even wait for you to finish that sentence. Just started yeah. shaking my head. I, honestly, and also, Nalitha may have been more proud if it had been on purpose. Come on. She would have. All right. And on that note, we will see you <laughs> Good all. Good night, everyone. Thank you.